Hey lovelies, Chica Samuels here. You're welcome to the Baby Dust Show. I'm glad to be having lunch with you. Today we are discussing weight control while eating yourself to parenthood. If you're joining from the first time, hashtag first time and let me know where you're joining from. Click the wow face and the wow button and I'll be in the comment section to engage with you. Eating well does not have to be time-consuming or labor-intensive process. In the So Precious Fertility Treatment Plan or okay, Coaching Programs, we have compiled a con, you know, collection of quick, um, easy recipes that are healthy and they are delicious also. <laughs> so that anyone on the program can easily, and we made it um, available with the busy urban adults in mind, with people with very busy schedules and little inclinations to you know to cook okay so you can follow our nutrient rich diet fertile diet for optimum health and optimum fertility if you're joining for the first time hashtag first time let me know where you're joining from and i would like to meet with you my name is chica samuels the fertility and lifestyle coach and this is the baby dust show where we discuss everything fertility everything wellness everything optimum health and disease prevention so um i often say that diet plans come and go yeah every year you see people come up with new schemes and they they appear that they promise weight loss, renewed health, um, glowing complexion, what else? enhanced longevity, age, you know, <laughs> gracefully and all that. But the truth is there is only one answer and it is very simple. I don't know why people like to make their lives so complex. I often show you what I'm drinking. This is carrot juice and orange juice, okay? And I just love it cold. So it's been in the fridge with my glass messenger um, cup with the straw. And I have a slice of lemon in there. So that's what I'm having. So you must eat foods that supply your body with the nutrients that it needs. That's simple. Is that complex? There is no way around it. Anyone that's telling you anything else is taking you for a while, trust me. So if you exist on a diet of refined, processed, nutrient depletant, um, fast foods, eventually you're going to pay dearly. And the consequences are infertility, stubborn weight, um, obesity, diabetes, name them, <laughs> the whole truckload, heart disease and many other various of cancers and other diseases that can be all traced to poor nutrition. It is that simple, you know. So it's, we're talking about a deficiency of vital nutrients, vital nutrients and, you know, or an overconsumption of, of, of foods that are harmful you know um to your health so it's it's that simple okay so a nutrient dense plant rich diet is effective is effective for long-term weight control okay a lot of people when i gave birth they said ah, when did you get pregnant not to go give me birth because i wasn't looking like i just gave birth because i have been able to control an ideal weight before conception and it was so easy to put it off after the baby came you know so because you feel full and satisfied even when you're consuming you know fewer calories these are some of the you know symptoms that you should be looking out for so i often recommend eating healthfully it's a single for as far as i know and as far as any sound research proves it's a single most effective preventive and therapeutic innovation or you know intervention that is available and it's the only one that works it's the best way you know to maintain a favorable long-term weight i am really not for fat diet i'm really not for crash diet slim today tomorrow your added weight slim today <laughs> you are trying to keep it off it is the best prescription that any doctor can that loves you and that has your best interest in heart can give you so it's so precious our fetal diet is simple it's rich in plant derived micronutrients i just showed you what i'm drinking my carrot juice and my orange plant-based and a slice of lemon because i like that zing taste that it gives it and it's you know i just got it out from the fridge because after the juicing i just put it in glass and i keep it in the fridge so it's easy for me to just you know you know when i'm driving out and i just take a glass of juice instead of going through the process again particularly antioxidants and phytochemicals you know this is what we recommend that you utilize your food in because they offer proven anti-cancer protection and lasting health you know and uh, permanent weight losses 
you know, um, you know, um, um, that are sustainable, yeah. But any other thing outside this is unattainable goals, okay. And that's why you see during festive period, a lot of people are trying to do a fat diet, do on all that to lose what they have gotten into the day because it is not sustainable okay so they are within reach when you learn to choose the right foods the right foods are really within reach they are more affordable they are actually cheaper if you are really sourcing at the right places a high nutrient diet that is rich in vegetables has been proven to slow the aging process enabling the repair of you know cell damage and reduces inflammation in your body it helps to shrink growths like fibroids and helps to get your body rid of toxins that you you know come in contact with on day-to-day basis Meeting your body um, nutrient needs also, you know, helps you to be upbeat. It helps you to suppress hunger, you know, or, um, um, or on, on realistic cravings that, you know, the fuels overeating, you know, of low nutrients. And this is something that we give, you know, serious attention to when people are, you know, that are trying parents that we're working with, okay? On the other hand, um, high calorie, um, no nutrients, refined, I listen to the keywords, processed foods, you know, um, really, you know, deplete your energy and make a mess of your hormones and, and you, your hormonal balance and even um, achieving a sustainable weight gain or weight loss. So natural plant foods is what we strongly you know, recommend. They contain thousands and loads and truckloads of nutrients, many that has been discovered and, you know, others that are also presently being unidentified so it's important to consume you know especially if you're actively trying for a child or you just want to be evergreen you want to be upbeat you're a busy urban adult you are tired of getting fatigue and you know snagging headache all the time an adequate amount and a wide variety of these foods that would you know these plant derived nutrients are very valuable and in protecting against later life cancers you know as well as you know protecting the aging brain against um you know um dementia and other what they call old people's diseases yeah <laughs> there's no such thing there's no such thing but that's a discussion for today so whole plant foods with their nature given you know it cannot be as it cannot be purer than as nature has given it the way god created it to be these fragile you know phytonutrients they come you know comprising of when they come comprising of the majority of your diet, then you've got it. Most people are misinformed about food and healthy eating. Trust me, I, I meet a lot of people and by the time they tell me what they think a healthy um, or a healthful food is or what should be on their plates, I'm like, where have you been? Because they are drifting from one fat diet to another without even understanding the holistic big picture. So the approach that I run, you know, I love to take in our coaching program is education. I love to teach, you know, my patients, my viewers, my readers to be experts in self-nutrition, at least the one you're eating, be an informed consumer so that you have the keys to health and successful weight control in your hands. And you're not putting it in one doctor's hand or one health coach and you're putting it in your hand because when you're more informed, you won't be using your money to buy poison yeah so the secret to eating well is very simple is to focus on micronutrients i uh, i'm not calories yes i don't like to count calories even when i'm doing my treadmill you know you have the calorie marker the speed the inclination and all that i don't look at the calories. i rather look at you know the pace and how much energy that i'm exerting because eating healthfully and um, consuming the right assortment and the right amount of nutrients results, the result is known. It results in consistent long-term health benefits. Okay? Getting healthy and uh, maintaining a stable, appropriate weight can be achieved only by paying attention to these things that we're talking about. Paying attention to the nutritional quality of your food, you know, for the rest of your life you have to make up your mind that i'm going all the way with this thing and i'm you know i'm going all the way the long haul with this thing someone rightly said that you can't get life from a dead food what do you mean by a dead food if a food that does not have life in it what you eat determines your weight more than how much you eat what you eat determines your weight more than how much you eat. People who follow so precious um, fertile or wellness diets, what they recognize is that plant foods have disease 
you know, preventive features. They really do. They have these therapeutic and um, life extending features that come with them and properties that come with them. So if where you are right now, you're struggling with this nagging weight, you have restarted in the gym, you've got a personal trainer, you do your workout and you're still overweight. Our fetal diet plan will enable you to lose weight and keep it off sustainably without experiencing and that's the, the, why I love it so much. Without experiencing um, that hunger pangs or feeling deprived because it is based on eating, you know, <laughs> the right things. I love food. Those that know me know that I love food. They love, I love good food. You know, we're talking about eating large quantities of satisfying, nutritious foods. Okay? Satisfying, nutritious food. Not just eating because I want to feel full. Some of you may find that it takes, you know, some time for your taste buds to become you know um more sensitive and your food preferences also you know to to this we have to change okay some people used to have very sweet to very sweet taste buds until they start using the so precious elixir drink and this changed and months afterwards when they take some they'll be like ah, it's too sweet i say it's your taste bud your taste bud has now been recultured to healthy living you may be used to high salt high sugar high fat foods however with time most people find that they actually you know prefer the taste of the food plants that we you know recommend in so precious coaching program or in the fertility treatment plan you see because knowledge triumphs willpower every time every time if you're a strong willed person when you get more knowledge it will triumph over your power every time. So I'm hopeful that, you know, you will enjoy, you know, the way that we teach you to eat because we're not just looking at, I always tell people on our coaching program, what we're teaching you is for baby and beyond, okay? We're not teaching you for just this few months we have together. We're teaching you for something that we want to be sustainable. I know that you will like the way you feel. That's one thing that one feedback will get very often. And best of all, you will love being free from this chronic disease and your constant yo-yo eating that makes life so miserable for so many, you know, today's busy urban adults. And trust me, it's something that you really want to give attention to. Okay? Mm. This is really nice. You should try it. <laughs> so the result of this eating style is sustainable that's what our eating style gives you it's sustainable because once people become nutritional experts by themselves by way of educational approach to wellness that we supply you know they experience success and when you have a winning formula why would you want to leave it you don't want to leave it you know you want to eat that way forever you want to live that way forever because it's already working for you right there's no need to reinvent the wheel so the secret to success is knowledge. Get knowledge. And that is why our approach is educational. You learn the right thing. And that's one thing that we promise people when you come to our facility coaching program or any of our treatment plan, you gain knowledge. You know what, the, if you're trying for a child, you would be in that program. You know exactly what the problem is. The more you learn, the easier it becomes to eat that particular way that we prescribe for the rest of your life. Okay. Here are basic guidelines for our, you know, diet style that we recommend that you do every day. We recommend that you eat a large plate of salad with homemade salad dressing, no nasties, as one of your main dish at least one meal. The second tip we recommend is that you eat one large serving of steamed green vegetables. I love to do this with my smoothies. I just take green smoothies a lot, so it suffices for that, okay? We also recommend that you eat at least half a cup of beans, especially in developed countries. Beans is, is a no-brainer, it's available and it's there, okay? Another tip is to eat at least three servings of fresh, non-sweet fruits. Fresh, non-sweet fruits, okay? If you can eat the fruits more often, please eat them more often than you juice them. Another tip is to eat at least one ounce of fat or not, if you're female at least, one and a half ounces if you're male, okay? Half of this quantity should be walnuts, your um, hemp seeds. I always have this around, yes, in glass. Your walnuts, your hemp seeds, your nut trails, your chia seed, your flax seed, your cinnamon seeds, I have all of them here. The only thing that is not here is your chia seed because I love, it, love to use it in my pudding, okay? Another tip is to eat cooked mushrooms, okay? And a combination of raw and cooked onions and tomatoes, okay? Eat few, I always recommend, eat few, if any, animal products, if you must, okay? Reduce um, your meat consumption, dairy, and eggs, okay? 
especially if you're an adult, okay? And limit them to two to three small um, servings per week, okay? I often recommend that you avoid red meat. If you're an effective treatment plan, you would have heard me say that. Avoid red meat. If you must go lean, okay? You know, avoid, you know, red meat. Avoid uh, processed or cured meat. These are, there should be no no's. They should not even be found. If someone gives it to you in an Owambe or a party or something, give it out and let it not come back with it because if it comes out with you somebody is gonna eat it <laughs> and that is someone that you love because that's someone that comes to your house animal products are restricted on our so precious you know fertile diets and especially if they are red for many reasons but mostly because of the high amount of animal protein in the diet you know they are linked to um, high levels of insulin like growth factor okay um, uh, you often see them are called the IGF ones okay they are high in these levels and also high rates of cancer okay so it's something that you really want to give attention to so the so precious diet plan is um is mostly plant-based is relatively high in plant you know protein okay it's something that you want to give attention to and you know take advantage of is rich in green um vegetables our diet plan is rich in green vegetables because um we want you to you know, get some energy while you're eating the raw stuff. You see lots of beans, variety of beans, nuts, seeds, okay? Because plant protein, we have a lot of, this a scoop of this contains a whole lot of plant protein. It doesn't raise your IGF ones, you know, um, you know, to unfavorable levels. And uh, any good nutritionist generally will tell you to prefer to use very small amount of um, um, animal products, if any at all, if you must. Okay, so when you don't eat, you know, um, animal products, the the animal products that you use, you know, are, are they are used for these products. If you're just joining in for the first time, hashtag first timer, and let me know where you're joining from. I would like to come to the comment section to hook up with you. If you're getting um, value from what we're sharing, please click like and um, share our content because so many people need to hear this, what we're discussing today. So let's discuss condiments a little bit. So add flavor to your stew, your soup, your, your vegetable dishes. Um, they don't make animal products a, a major you know, calorie contributor to your meal, but they also add some flavor. So whether you eat a little bit of animal products or none at all, the most important focus really, you know, is to um, ensure that you avoid toxic foods, foods that are not adding benefits to your meal plans, okay? Foods that are empty of nutrients, okay? They are not serving you and they are toxic to your body, such as sugar and um, the whole lot of food intolerances that we have mentioned in previous um, um, episodes. We had a very important series and if you missed the show, please um, go back, click the, the, the link in the comment section to do catch up. Okay, so I'm talking about toxic foods like your sweeteners, your um, your agave um, nectar, your maple syrup, and your honey. Yes, they should be taken in very in small proportions. Your white flour, your white rice, and other processed and refined foods. You need to minimize, if possible, eliminate this from your diet. So let's talk about building a diet on the foundation of vegetables. I know when I talk about vegetables, some people are thinking, are you talking about broccoli? <laughs> I often recommend that you eat a salad every day. Make it large enough, extra large. Include lectures, tomatoes, chopped onions, at least one shredded, um, what's it called, um, seriferous um, vegetable, okay? Yes, I'm talking about broccoli and kale and all those ones. <laughs> so use a variety of greens, okay? Include your remain um, lectures, your um, unprocessed natural butter, your um, red and green leaf lectures, your baby spinach, you know, these are all green, you know, vegetables, your um, water um, craze, your, um, there are so many of them. So ensure that you're taking advantage of them and you're adding them to your smoothies. You know, for added veggies, you can actually um, also choose from your red and green um, bell peppers. I know a lot of times when I mention veggies and I'm talking about peppers, it be like, pepper veggies yes your red your yellow peppers your green ball peppers they are vegetables yes they are your cucumber your carrots your shredded um red and green cabbage your chopped white and red onions 
your um, lightly suited mushrooms, your zucchini, your lightly steamed um, beets, yes, your beetroot, your carrots, your peas, your broccoli, <laughs> your cauliflower, your radishes. Get this in your dishes. I'm telling you, use the um, your healthy nuts and your seed-based dressing to top off. You know, I have this blended that I use to top off my salads. They really add that chewy fiber to my salad. I love it. So, so, so the fat from the nuts and the seeds will help you to absorb the nutrients amazingly in your vegetables. Yes, they do. They do so and that's why i love to top up my seeds and my nuts i take them with my 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 vegetables even when i do my smoothies my smoothies are not my vegetable smoothies are not complete until i put my nuts and my nuts yes this is best to include both raw and steamed vegetable because they work together note that the levels of um, some nutrients are higher in you know raw vegetables yes they are you know but you know others so you need to give it attention when you're also consuming your vegetables others are made more available when they're a little steamed or sauteed or by some sort of slow cooking yeah but not the type of vegetables that you cook and they came to your kitchen green and looking very alive and by the time you're serving them they are looking black like plum okay so in addition to your salad i always recommend that you eat a hearty portion of cooked vegetable every day yes you could say how am i gonna do that it's all about planning it's all about proactive planning you need to plan your diet every day and we we'll show you how to in our fertility and wellness treatment plan there are great choices you know which includes cooked um, leafy greens okay eating them with any of your food as a side dish such as your kale your collard your mustard greens your um, spinach your broccoli your um, brussels sprouts your asparagus your cabbage your zucchini personally i like to see my vegetables in a soup because uh, you know all the ingredients or the nutrients are contained in the cooking oil or the cooking um, liquid so i can use it as a pepper soup or a sauce or just sprinkle on my food you know i also you know gently steam or water saute vegetables in many of my recipes i've shown you a couple of those on the um, so precious health kitchen so green vegetables are the secret weapon they are hands down you know to fight almost all diseases and i'm gonna say that again just so that it stays green vegetables are the secret weapon to fight almost all diseases so if you're often having um you want to be proactive in a disease fighting you need to give attention to green vegetables adding greens to everything is my quick way you know um the quick way i get um vegetables in is in a vegetable nutrient blend smoothie every day i just put in my nutrient blend and sprinkle some sleeves and some nuts and i am tagging along with my handbag and i'm on the go you know as I'm driving or whatever, I'm taking a sip. You know, while all vegetables contain product, you know, protective micro ingredients or micronutrients and um, phytochemicals, cool fiserous um, vegetables have, you know, essential powerful anti-cancer, you know, effects. So I often ask that my trying parents include these categories of vegetables I'm going to mention now in their family of. Um, vegetables from this family, they need to include them in their fertile diet every day, at least one of each. Your fresh ogo, your greens, your water leaf, your kale, your collards, your mustard greens, your arugula, your um, cabbage, your broccoli, your Brussels sprouts, your cauliflower. These are all um, um, cruciferous vegetables. So when they are blended, when they are chopped, or chewed what happens is that the, the um, plant cell was are broken down and this immediately um, one of my friends called it a chemical reaction it initiates a chemical reaction you know that produces an enzyme which is shown to detoxify and that's why i prefer to have them as salads or as smoothies and they help to do you know to remove carcinogens that's a uh, cancer causing toxins from your body this is the magic to shrinking cancer growth or inflammations like fibroids okay so let's talk a bit you know about naturally um sweets or fruit juices okay 
I always recommend that um, you always keep a good supply of fresh fruit on hand. I often say you must have gotten tired of hearing it. You can't eat healthy if you don't have healthy in your pantry or in your fridge. It's not gonna work no matter how much you desire to do it. It is the ultimate convenient food and it's an excellent um, nutrient dense, low calorie source of vitamins and phytochemicals. Every kind of fruit offers its own special benefits. Every food does, okay? But um, berries in particular, I'm talking about all them bunch of berries, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, they are, are true superfoods with extremely high antioxidant values. Yes, they are. That, those deep red, deep blue, deep purple pigments that they are not joking. You know, they are produced, you know, by um, anthocyanins. These are um, flavonoids. They are flavonoid um, compounds, you know, that have been proven to be, you know, associated with numerous, numerous health and anti-aging benefits. So you really want to give attention to berries, you know, in your smoothies, okay? And um, these have also been linked to lowering, you know, blood pressure if you're struggling with um, blood pressure fluctuations or um, a reduced, you know, risk of, of, of particular cancers or inflammation or diabetes if you have those in your history or family, okay? They also help to improve your memories and your motor coordination also. So it's something that you really want to you know having your um your everyday meal yeah frozen fruits also and here i mean buying it fresh from the farm and you are not freezing it not the one that was imported frozen <laughs> okay okay when you wash them with filtered water you chop and you freeze for use not the the um, store-bought frozen foods they are very quick and easy options i always have this in small containers my fruits i have them chopped already in small containers in my fridge so it's easy for me to make smoothies out of them so i don't wake up and start cutting 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 no i have them all chopped so it depends on um the recipe i want to create i just pop into the blender and in three two minutes i'm, I'm done and i'm on my way so keep your freezer stocked with a variety of choices the nutritional value of frozen food is comparable to those of fresh fruits but avoid canned products okay tetra pack anything that comes with tetra pack because it's often you know always comes with added sweeteners and has significant amount of you know um it, it has lost its um amount of water soluble nutrients which your body needs okay as regards dried fruits use it only in small amounts if you're trying for a child especially for the females i tell you to just let it go go fresh okay go fresh but if you must use it in very small amounts as sweeteners in your recipes if you need to lose weight or if you're trying for a child please just go fresh leave the dry fruits alone because they come with molds and all sorts of um, processing issues that you don't want to deal with yeah I often recommend that fruits that are consumed at their peak of their ripeness is, you know, more delicious. You must have noticed also <laughs> than any other one, you know, than any other process, you know, like the, the carrot juice that I'm using, the, the carrot uh, fruits, you know, the vegetable that I used was fresh. Okay, okay, so they will taste more delicious than any other one that you found in the Tetra Pak or, you know, because they're going to have over refined, you know, um, sweeteners and treats and all that. So I always recommend to shoot for two servings of fruits a day. Sweet fruits here, including one serving of berries. Okay, yes. So enjoy your strawberries, your blueberries, your raspberries, your blackberries and stir them into your um, your morning whole grain oatmeal, add them to your smoothies or your purees or even as a simple dessert, okay? Then, what about good fats? What about seeds? What about nuts? Let's talk a little bit about those. Basically, fats provide the essential fatty acids that your body needs, which are called um, the um, linonic and the linonic acids because your body cannot make them. That's why they are called essential because you can't manufacture them. Your body cannot make them and cannot remain healthy without them. 
okay if you're getting value from what we are sharing click the like button subscribe if you love more we like to hear more of this kind of value and share this link widely get this healthy value to people that need them okay and um so these essential fatty acids are needed for brain development for adults and for children control of inflammation clotting of your blood they are all essentials. Fat helps to keep your body healthy, your skin healthy and looking lush and is required for absorption of some critical fat soluble vitamins like your vitamin A, um, your vitamin D, so your vitamin E and vitamin K. It is well known that saturated fats in animal products such as your butter, um, your cheese, your whole milk, your, what are them again, ice cream, your cured meats, of course, I've had several, you know, um, discussions with you where I told you that they should be eliminated from your diet and they should be avoided, especially if you're dealing with inflammation, okay? You're dealing with menstrual cycle issues, fibroids, and PCOS because they, you know, and also if you're dealing with um, weights, rapid weight gains or losses that are unexplainable, they raise your low density lipoprotein you know this is what um, they call the bad cholesterol the ldl that's what you see on the blood works which puts you at risk of heart attack of stroke or other major health problems okay but you should also skip refined vegetable oils you see this often in your mall in the roadside where you have the vegetable oil and plastics okay um, you see skip um, on you know this um, vegetable oils okay so like sugar um, and um, like sugar vegetable oils are processed foods that have almost lost all its nutrients and fiber it's been struck off okay ounce for ounce oil is one of the um, most um, calorically dense food that you can eat so it adds up to a whole lot of empty you know calories when you're not eating the right ones yeah nuts and seed on the other hand are you know healthful alternatives to you know these bad oils okay and they are rich in fiber they are rich in protein you know they are rich in um, sterols minerals they are rich in you know uh, niganans other health promoting nutrients that you want to have in your body and they also um, help to increase the absorption of nutrients from other foods okay that you're eating yeah so that's why they are very good snacks you know to enable on after a diet because they help to absorb these nutrients from the other foods that you you know that you have in your body so the fats in nuts and seeds are slowly absorbed so they keep you feeling full yes and that's why i have them in my car i have them in the pantry i have them in the sitting room and all that so that we snack on them it helps you keep you know keep feeling full for a longer time because it doesn't um, allow you to crave unhealthy foods okay researchers have found that including nuts and seeds in your diet you know they can help you lose weight you see i have lots of them and i have them labeled so that i know what mix exactly that i have in it not true um, glass bottles they help also to protect against you know heart diseases and cancer so in a nutshell nuts and seeds are your go-to okay they are your besties they are the best sources of healthy fats you know in your body you know like i said that they are good fat and they are bad fat so eat nuts and your seeds raw these are raw they are not roasted they are not sugar coated they are not salt coated they are not anything coated they are raw nuts but if you must maybe if you're still coming up with nuts you can lightly toast them just lightly no additions or all that because roasting process also alters their beneficial um fats okay then I find that commercially packaged nuts and seeds are frequently cooked in oils and they are heavily salted. I, yes, um, someone bought me a pack because he heard that I love nuts and seeds and bought me, you know, a pack. And this, the, the nuts were heavily, you know, salted. I'm like, my goodness. And I couldn't even, of course, my taste buds couldn't take it. So if you're trying to lose weight, you know, you can, um, take about a um, quarter cup for women of nuts and seed you know for women then one and a half ounces you know um for men if you're active and you're slim and you, there is no problem with eating more you know than this at least half of your nut intake should be walnuts 
hemp seeds, chia seeds. I love chia seeds in my puris and um, in my oatmeal. <laughs> Flax seeds, your salmon seeds, I have them all here because all of them put together, except sesame you know, seeds, they are particularly, particularly high in essential omega-3 fatty acids. And that is the right fats that you need, not omega-6 that unhealthy vegetable oils are offering you. Okay. In addition, all of these, you know, nuts and you know seeds that I've mentioned, except walnut, they are excellent sources of um, lignans, and which you know they reduce um, cholesterol in your body and help to provide extra protection against cancer. So people with nut allergies, because I mean, you know, I am not allergic. How did you know you have nut allergy? So, well, if you have discovered that you have, you know, nut allergies, you can substitute pumpkin seeds, you can substitute with um, um, sunflower seeds, sunflower um, seed butters, you know, in, in the recipes that I've talked to you about, you know, nut butter, your, um, you know, the recipes that are calling for cashew nuts, almonds, and other nuts, you can substitute with these other seeds, yeah? Then on hold, some assessment seeds or raw um, tanani are also very tasty options but because they are stronger in flavor yes i find them very strong in flavor start off with a lower amount if you're just starting up you know so that you can adjust to your taste buds okay so start by tossing out your empty calorie refined oils and use high powered you know blender to make creamy dressings for your nuts for your seeds for your salad and you would enjoy it you feel like a brand new person trust me because these dressings will taste great they will absorb um you enable you to absorb more nutrients from your vegetables from your salad you know from your smoothies thanks to the healthy fats you know that they provide and you feel full for a longer time so you don't even have the need to start um, pecking on unhealthy foods, okay? And don't forget to add mushrooms, you know, and onions also. You know, um, I had, uh, when growing up, a cousin that um, when we are eating fried egg, he'll pick, deliberately pick, 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 pick out all the onions. So don't forget your onions, your tomatoes. Mushrooms have tremendous power to you know, enhance your immune system function. You know, all types of mushrooms have a wild variety of gain. They have a wild variety of, you know, of benefits and you can, you know, take advantage in your salads and, you know, in your um, soups, okay? They have anti-cancer, you know, properties and they are also, you know, um, they help to inhibit the growth of inflammation or inflammatory illnesses or abnormal cell tumors, you know that should not be growing in your system so it's something that i really want to give attention to a lot of i know in urban city we call mushroom an aging but it's something that you need to you know give attention to in your meal eating even a small you know amount of mushroom every day will help protect you against cancer and this has been proven by you know by sand research so as a safety precaution always cook your mushrooms that's what i recommend because we have um, found that some of them by animal studies have you know reported that you know some of them are toxic in nature okay so you you know they have toxic effects of some raw um, mushrooms so we don't recommend that you eat them raw okay so cook them before consuming is a very good one of course after washing in general amounts of water then your allium vegetables don't forget your onions your garlic your leeks your sheaves your shallots your scallions these allium vegetables are staples in your sauces and they are rich in cancer fighting you know um agonosulfur compounds and the, you need them in especially uh, in this immune conscious <laughs> age that we have moved into you need to you know have an increased consumption of these vegetables they've been associated with numerous numerous beautiful benefits so you need to have them either uh, make juices out of them add them to your sauces to however you you find it more palatable to eat because they have records of decreased risk of many types of cancers and fibroid growth. So you really want to take advantage of those. Okay, the allium genesis of 
of vegetables that I, I have read and I have seen are onions, okay? Good old onions, your garlics, your leeks, you know, like your scallions, they do more than just, you know, um, adding great flavor to your food. And as some people say, ah, your soup is not, you know, I've not started with that onion. Not just to add flavor, they have this benefit. They have anti-diabetic benefits, anti-cancer benefits. So they are very staple um, ingredients and um, vegetables that you should have. And they have beneficial effects, you know, on your cardiovascular, you know, um, system, also your reproductive system. So you really, really, really want to do your immune system a lot of good by using them generously in your cooking. Okay, I hope you have gotten value today and I hope um, you have gained something that you would like to share with someone. So like, click the subscribe button and share widely and I would be looking forward to meet you next week. So we'll meet next week. Keep living healthy, keep eating your vegetables, blending, chopping them finely and eating them for those beautiful chemical reactions to initiate protective um, features for your body, okay? So we meet next week, keep living healthy and keep giving the world your best.